Disney is a name known around the world, associated with cartoons, films, roller coasters, merchandise, and almost every cinematic franchise. But who was the man behind the mouse? Walter Elias Disney was born on December 5th, 1901. From an early age, he showed an interest in drawing, and despite receiving poor grades at school, he attended Saturday courses at the Kansas City Art Institute and took a correspondence course in cartooning. In 1917, Disney enrolled at McKinley High School, becoming the cartoonist for the school newspaper, drawing patriotic pictures about World War I. He also took night courses with the Chicago Academy of Fine Arts. A year later, he tried to enlist in the army, but was rejected for being too young. Though that didn't stop him forging the date of birth on his birth certificate and joining the Red Cross. He was shipped to France, but arrived in November, after the armistice. By October 1919, Disney was working at the Pesman Rubin Commercial Art Studio as an apprentice artist. He drew advertisement illustrations for theatre programmes and catalogues, and met friend Ub Iwerks. Iwerks was a highly talented artist that was shy and reserved, while Disney was a visionary, idea man who was very outgoing and business-minded. Less than a year after meeting, Iwerks and Disney joined together and formed a company called Iwerks Disney Commercial Artists. The venture was short-lived, however, as Walt went to work for the Kansas City Film Ad Company for more money, and it wasn't long before Iwerks joined him there. Eventually, Disney formed a company called Laugh-A-Gram Films, which ran from June 1921 to 1923. He convinced Iwerks to join him, and during this time he was contracted by Milton Feld to animate 12 cartoons which he called Newman's laugh -grams. In 1922, when Disney was 20 years old, Laugh-A-Gram process was incorporated by him using the remaining assets of the defunct Iwerks Disney commercial artists from local investors. Laugh-A-Grams produced nine of the requested 12 films with little income, but encouraged by his short's popularity at the theater and inspired by Aesop's fables by Terry Toons, Disney decided he wanted to make his own animated versions of fairy tales too and invested six months on his first attempt at Little Red Riding Hood. Disney ended up making seven animated fairy tales, some of which can still be seen today on the bonus features of new DVD releases. He also created the live-action Alice's Wonderland, which followed Virginia Davis in the lead role as she explored an animated world. After finishing the raw edits of this feature in 1923, the studio filed for bankruptcy. iWorks returned to the Kansas City Film Ad Company, and Walt sold his movie camera, earning just enough to buy a one-way ticket to Hollywood. With the unfinished reels of Alice's Wonderland tucked under his arm, he boarded the train. But not before he'd released a tame brown house mouse that had lived on his desk at Laugh-A-Gram Films. A mouse that would stay in the back of Walt's mind as he headed to Hollywood.